I knew you were up to something. No need for that. You'll have a fair chance with the board. I've already alerted them to the situation and we'll be having a hearing in four days. A surgical convention. And it overlaps with the board meeting. There's a big surgical convention coming up in Finland, and we both thought it would be great if you could represent our hospital there. I mean, how can you have a surgical convention without the world's best surgeons? We printed out all the information you need for the hotel and convention. Normally, I would definitely do this, but Victor asked me to testify in front of the board on that same day. And even if you made one up, You'd have to find an intern dumb enough to testify that she filled out the paperwork incorrectly. An intern so clumsy she accidentally used all the medicine instead of just the medicine for the trial. Thank you, Ruth. Oh no, don't thank me. This isn't my idea. I'd never suggest anything so stupid. Stupid kids. But I'm also worried. I'm going to have to raise a child alone in my crappy apartment. This is going to be a tough one, Allison. I could really use your help. But you're going to have to decide now. We're in OR3. Patient Mahilda Hart has been in a car crash. It's Medicine Hospital Heat, Season 3, Episode 9. Oh no. Tell me you're just moving some boxes. No, I... I no longer am working at Little Creek. As of today, Victor's in charge. I'm so sorry, Daniel. My mom, my brother. It's okay, I understand. I heard what happened. This was my fault anyway. They did let me keep my medical license, so I guess I can be thankful for that. Is there anything I can do for you? No, it's been a long day. I just need a little time to process things. I guess we both do. So you're sure you can't fit any more beds into your intensive care unit? Do you see any space for more beds, Victor? Eh, I guess I'll have to cut costs on equipment then. I see you're not having a great day either. Oh, nonsense. It'll take more than that oaf to get me down. How's she doing? During the operation, we found several heightened kidney toxin levels. These toxins have been entering the bloodstream and causing havoc. Loss of oxygen, muscle damage, not to mention very erratic heartbeat. We've had to put her in an artificial coma so we can slow down her entire system. If we brought her out of it, she would die within the hour. If only we had done that checkup. There's no use in regretting the past. I'm going to run some tests. That is, if Victor will still let me. Thanks, Quinn. Wake up, sleepyheads. I'm here to pick you up, Ryan. The kids have been asking about you. I guess I could use the distraction. Hey, how you holding up, kiddo? I've had better days. 
I'd give you a hug, but... We probably shouldn't. Sometimes the world just stings. That's your great insight, huh? No, just something some guy told me once. Good luck, Allison. I'm... I'm out of ideas. All my tests came back inconclusive. Every test spells out something different, and the very next test excludes the first result. Ugh, on top of that, I now have strict per-patient test budget. I'm not allowed to go on a wild goose chase. Victor? What do you think? To be honest, though, even with more tests, I wouldn't know where to start. So there's nothing you can do? I'm afraid not. You could always try talking to her. Talk to you? I hardly know you. And that's not my fault, is it? You know, all the mom and daughter moments I've had to miss out on? How desperately I wanted to have a mother? The only thing you had to do was be there. The only thing I had to do was forgive you. Not be so angry, not send you away. It couldn't have been easy on you either. I... I just wish things could have been different. Quinn told me there's nothing more he can do for Mom. Well, he might not be able to do anything, but I'm not giving up yet. I'm done with giving up. I'm going to do everything I can, Ryan. I promise. We're going to save Mom. But I can't do this alone. I'll stop by Ruth's after my shift. Ruth? Uh, you do know the door has no lock, right? Yeah, they changed the lock, so I had someone remove it. But I'm sure you didn't come here to talk about locks. No, I need your advice. So somehow I need to do more tests, but I don't know what tests to do. And on top of that, Victor won't let us do any more anyway. I'll look at the file. I'm sure there are still plenty of things we can test for, but... It seems to me you still need help from someone else, too. You need someone who has an experience in bending the rules. I'm not sure if Daniel will help me after all that has happened. Allison, that boy would rob a bank for you if you asked him to. Hmm, I guess I'll have to try. Thanks, Ruth. Ruth, are you sure you don't need any help? Don't be silly. This house was too big for me alone anyway. Victor, you can't just take one of our carts. Don't be so overdramatic. You make do with just one cart. You know how much Queensboro Bridge is willing to pay for one of these? 
This hospital is going to turn a profit, and it's going to turn a profit quickly. You can always put your complaints in my complaint box. Ugh, I can't work like this. Don't worry, Sophia. We'll make it work. You just try and relax, okay?
I guess it's time. <sighs> Daniel, are you up here? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know your mom and dad were over. I can come back later. Don't be silly. We're just here to celebrate Daniel's new job at Queensboro Bridge. Queensboro Bridge? Uh, yeah, I was going to tell you. I didn't want to go back to my self-pitying again, so I applied for a job at Queensboro. And they were glad to have me. That's great, Daniel. Yeah, it is. But that is not what you wanted to talk about, right? No. No. I also wanted to do something instead of feeling sorry for myself. But I need your help. Well, I could probably slip in an extra slip in the extra tests you need at Queensboro. Are you sure? I couldn't ask you to do that. Allison, you were willing to risk everything for me. It's the least I could do. Thank you, Daniel. Just be sure Victor doesn't see you collecting the samples. I'm sorry, I've got to go. Someday you'll have to tell me why you and Elson aren't a couple. John! 